Hello everyone. This is Lolly. I don't I don't often do this, but now and then I get so many new items in my shop that I just really have to do a video showing you what's there instead of just putting the word out. So, um mostly I got a lot of new shaker goodies. So these are from Buttons Galore. They are called their sprinklets. This one is Candy Hearts and you can see that it is uh, it's got some of the little conversation hearts, like there's love right there, but it mostly is like multi-color hearts. Then they have deco hearts. I have these in my shop now as well. These are beautiful pastel hearts. And garden party, which is these beautiful florals. Okay, also, um, and I should say... Due to everything that has happened in the world with COVID, um, it is way hard getting supplies. So just because I show something is in my shop doesn't mean I have 40 of them. Um, many times I place an order and I might get three or I might get five. Um, I did order some new shaker embellishments from Dress My Craft and I only got three little tubs so I didn't even bother listing them yet. But it is really difficult getting supplies. I picked up these from Dress My Craft, and these are called a set or a kit. This is the Pastel Sprinkle Family. So it is six tubs of these beautiful like candy sprinkles. So you can see there's a blue, yellow, lavender, mint green, orange, and pink. And I got a set of heart-shaped sequins. And they're a little holographic, so this one, it's it's like a holographic white, so it comes across like mother of pearl. There's a green, a really brilliant uh, fuchsia, kind of a blue-purple, a yellow, and a red, and they're heart-shaped. Great for shakers. And I got star sequins as well, same colors, but these ones are stars. So six tubs in there, it's a good deal. Now, also in the line of shakers, you may have seen recently I did a, a couple videos. I did one where I made a birdhouse using a circle die and a dome. Or also, they're also called blisters in the UK. And they were matching for making shakers. And I made a birdhouse with mine. Um, and I've been, these have been very hard to get a hold of. So I've been working to get some of these in my shop. So I have different shapes. These are the die and the matching domes. So in a set, you would, you would get five shaker domes and two dies like this to make this shape. And this is called the small cocktail glass. I also am working on getting refill domes in my shop. So I already do have some refill domes. So it just depends on the shape. And also, there are some dies like this one that it's just one die with the five uh, blisters. So just, just a heads up on that. Uh, with the glasses, you get the, the drinks, you get the outside of the drink, and you get the inside of the shaker, whereas a duck, it's just the duck. So... So there are different pricing for these two as well, depending on how many dies are in the set. So I have a couple of the ducks. This is the gin glass die shaker. This is the latte glass die shaker. Really beautiful. This one is called, it's the Toys and Tots line. It's called the Tiara. But I, you know, I just think that is so pretty for a crown. This one I love because it's the balloon die and shaker set. This one was really hard for me to get a hold of, and I ordered several of these. Um, this one I saw, oh, their balloon is upside down in this. It's supposed to be that way. But anyway, uh, I saw someone flip the balloon like this, so it, was, so it was an Easter egg, and that made a really cute card as well. So those are new in my shop. I already had shown a video where I had... Um, gotten these in which are shaker pockets from tonic studios the six by six five by seven and the a2 which is four and a quarter by five and a half but i have since then added in the slimline shaker pockets which are three and a half by eight each of these contains five shaker pockets they are uh, it flat adhesive on the edges you fold them around your card to make an entire card shaped shaker 
Also, I just got these in my shop today. These are called Keepsake Envelopes by Scrapbook Adhesives. There are 10 pieces in there. There is one of these, two of those, three of those, and four of those. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Um, they are adhesive pockets. They are clear. They have adhesive on the back that's permanent. And then they have a resealable flap. So here's the smallest that's two by two inches and you can see you would pull the tape and you would seal this down like that. So you can use these for shakers in your projects, in your um, junk journals, in your TNs, etc., in your journals. Um, if I were to make it a shaker, I would probably add extra adhesive on either side of this just to make sure that, that nothing would escape. I wouldn't use glitter in these because I think that would, could probably get out after a while. So that there's four of those. This is so cute. This is the 4.1 inches by 2.1 inches. There's three, four of those, three of these. Two of these, and these are 4.1 by 3.6. And you can see how there's just such a little piece of tape, and I realize it's because it's uh, resealable. This one here is 5 by 4.6, and you get one of those. Sorry for that. I know the glare is making it hard to for my camera to focus, so I will put these back in. These are a good deal. They're only uh, $2.95 for a set. That's most of the, that's the shaker stuff. I also picked up some of these Picket Fence Studios, and these are envelopes for uh, Slimline, and they are 14 envelopes. They are four and one, four and one eighth by nine and a half. And you can see the colors. Aren't they beautiful? I also picked up these, which have been in my shop for a couple weeks now. And these are from Prima. And they're called Rusty Paper Clips. They say Inspire on them. I'm trying to get that to focus. It's hard when there's glare. So they're beautiful little clippies. If you like, you know, grunge and vintage look, those will be perfect for you. I've also picked up the Tonic Studios Precision Tweezers, which are the ultra fine point. You can see right there at that point is amazing. They're reverse tweezers, meaning you squeeze to open and you let go for them to close. Once you learn how to use these, it's really convenient. And the beauty of that is that you're not straining. See, now I don't have to really get a grip on that. It's holding it by itself. This is not the tip that comes with it, just so you know. When I opened mine, I, it does have a protective cap, but I immediately lost my protective cap when I went to go take a picture of my tweezers. So this is a cap from a different pair of tweezers, just a heads up on that. I also have some new Elizabeth Craft products. This is their Polaroid embellishment stamps, which goes with the Polaroid, die, Polaroid page dies. And I'm going to have to come back out here a little bit. This is the Polaroid page dies. It's for their art journal series, but it could be used with other projects. Also have this, which is Art Journal Chick. If you like uh, Traveler's Notebooks and you like uh, fountain pens, and then there's the girl right there and the hashtag favorites. This die is all, these are all part of the new, the Art Journal series. This one here has this really cute puzzle page. Imagine doing uh, a photo, printing a photo and, and die cutting it like that. This one I found to be really interesting. It is the honeycomb dots. So it's two dies. This one cuts out the honeycombs. This one cuts out the outline around it. So you could just perforate something with this without cutting it out as a separate piece. But you know what I was thinking? This would be really cute. It's not, um, the dots are not lined up like you would if you were doing cross stitch. However, I don't think that would stop us from using some kind of embroidery floss and stitching something out of this. I think that would be really pretty on a card. This one is called the Sealed Pocket. It's got a flap for it. And this one is called the Jeans Pocket. I think that's really cute. So it folds here like this, and this is a flap that goes down over the front. You've got um, this stitched area here, 
and a little heart. It looks like a window, but it doesn't actually cut the window out. So you can glue this on your um, on your project, and this will be the front when you fold it over. So uh, I just restocked the paper clip blanks as well. So those are uh, doing well in my shop. And I've also been carrying the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive that you see me using in my projects right now. So that's a lot of stuff to talk about. And uh, hurry on over. I will give you a link to my website, to my you know selling platform. Those of you who've been asking, who are fairly new to my shop, yes, I used to sell on Etsy. And I, let me get these out of there. The glare is too much. I pretty much backed off and only left my digital designs in Etsy because of their policies made it uh, really difficult to sell with them anymore. So I have digital designs on Etsy, but the rest of my stuff is from a site called Bonanza. And you will just see my website is lollipaloozacrafts.com, and that's my shop. Anytime you want, you can go right to the top of the screen in the uh, lollipaloozacrafts.com and you can do a search and if you search shaker you will see all the shaker stuff that I have so lots and lots of fun and thank you for taking a look